In this brief video, we're going to show you how to install and do some basic configuration in the Dynamics 365 portal for field service. So as you can see here, I have an instance of Dynamics 365 up and running, complete with field service in it. So as you can see here, I've got all, all my stuff actually up and running. Um, what we've done is we've actually clicked on the Dynamics 365 area. We've clicked on Applications. We've gone on the Portals. We've selected one. So now we're given the portal configuration screen. So I've picked both the name, the type is production, the portal URL. I'm now going to pick my Dynamics 365 instance, which I'm going to pick portal here. Oh, my domain name's already in use. Okay, I'm going to pick the instance, pick language, I'm going to pick who my admin is, I'm going to pick myself here. You see how the ability here to pick audiences. I'm going to pick the partner audience. I'm going to pick the partner portal. And then I'm going to click the field service here. If you don't do that, I'll show you where to deploy that later, but we're going to click the field service portion here. And we're now going to submit this video, or submit this. This is going to take about three to five minutes to run. When we come back then, we'll actually do the basic configuration. So we now have our field service portal completely provisioned. Um, if you provision the partner portal and did not install field service, you want to go down to portal actions here. And inside portal actions, you'll see a uh, field service extensions button. You want to click on that. So if, if for whatever reason, when you install the field service portal or the portal for partners and you didn't include field service, you can add that after the fact if you want to through install field service extension. Um, we're going to go over to the portal now and log in as an admin. So here I am in the portal. You can see there's really nothing up here. I'm going to click sign in. It's going to take a second here. Once I sign in, I'm going to click Azure Active Directory. We'll go from there. Azure Active Directory. So you can see I now am the administrator, so I have the ability to edit the pages, and you'll see that field service now pulls up as a, a list of what, what I have available to me here. So all of my field service assets now exist, or all my objects in field service are now available to me um, in Dynamics 365. All right, so now that we have the portal up and running, I'm logged in as an admin. I'm now going to go up through the other side of this, which is going in Dynamics and actually adding you in as a customer and creating a customer record for us to look at. Now, before we give the customers access to the data uh, coming out of field service by the portal, we need to do a little bit of work here to make sure we actually expose everything. So what we're going to do here is I've gone to the customer assets inside of field service, click edit. You're going to see there is a new checkbox here that says expose to customer. Click that, I click change. It's now going to update all of my assets to expose them to customers. Now I'm going to come back up to field service here. Look at work orders. This is a little more in depth here. Open the work order up. Run 
button there. Put the three little ellipses at the end there. I'm going to go form editor. Here's one that says expose the customer. I'm going to add that right there to my form. I'm not going to publish my customizations. Direct my browser here. Yes. Save these changes. Now, what that allows me to do here, now I'll go back to work orders. I click here. Everything in the portals, as you're probably aware, is controlled by, by a view. So I'm going to go to Active Customers. Now you can see now I have access to it. So if you're looking at your work orders in the portal as a user, you don't see what's going on there. That's why I'm going to go back to Active Work Orders here now. I'm going to highlight all of them. Edit here. Expose to customers, yes. Click change. Now, because I don't care about my demo data, this is just demo data, I'm going to expose all 179 work orders this way. That's it. I have now exposed the work orders and the customer assets out to the portal. Now, the next step we're going to do is we're actually now going to create a user. I can actually log in as a customer and see those assets and um, work orders assigned um, to their account. For using field service as a customer, I'm going to use um, Trey Research as my customer. So if I come up here, and the reason I picked them was they have both um, assets and uh, work orders assigned to them. So I'm going to pick active accounts here. If I go to my T's, uh, you'll see I have a Trey Research here. Uh, quick create a new contact. Now what's important here is the email address has to be unique. So you can't use the same email address over and over again with the portals. It uses a unique key. So I'm going to do this as Bob at Trey Research dot com. And I'm going to click save. Save anyways, just because it thinks the duplicate doesn't mean it is one. So there's Bob Trey now. Now here's all the information about Bob we, we, we have here, which is great. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up here to here, and I'm going to say we want to do an invitation. Um, now you can do this a couple different ways. Um, there's one way of doing it here. The web role is really what you care about. We'll show that later. The web role we need is an FS web role. And now we're going to go into portals. 
I'm going to go to invitation. Create a new invitation. I'm going to use a single one. Invited contact is going to be Bob Trey. I'm going to save this. Now, once I save this, I actually need to assign it to a, to a web role. So I'm going to click the plus button here, and it's going to be FS customer. I'm going to pick the FS customer approver just for fun. And you see down here, there's an invitation code. I'm going to highlight that and copy it. I'm not going to go over to my portal, so here's my portal. I'm going to click sign in. I click redeem invitation, put my invitation code in, I click register. So I'm going to be Bob. I'm going to leave this, this profile stuff alone. You'll now see in the menu here, Field Service Exists. I'm going to click on Assets. You now see a list of all the assets that belong to Tray Research because we exposed them. To come here to Work Orders, you'll see I have several work orders here assigned as well. So that's a very quick and easy way for you to set up access to the Field Service portal, add the exposed to customers and have a customer actually have access to it.